Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as Forest Fire Detection Using Convolutional Neural Network CNN which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that forest is one of the important or essential resources for all the living organisms in the world because it consists of herbs, trees, bushes and every kinds of animal species also. But in case if there is any accidental fires in the forest, it may be a dangerous hazards to forest and everyone. So to preserve the forest from fire, yearly direction is important measure. So generally in the existing system, the human surveillance like uh, sensors, fire detectors, sensors, kinds of things have been used. But here in this paper, the authors have proposed a forest fire detection using convolutional neural network where in the proposed system, we are not going to use any kind of hardware like a fire detector or smoke detector. Instead, we are going to find the fire de detection and also the smoke detections. So in the base paper, the authors have implemented the model using convolutional neural network. So the authors have implemented using the convolutional neural network and they have used using nine that is around thousand images, triple nine images for training the system. But we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So as our proposed model, we are going to implement the system using mobile net architecture and also in the base paper they have implemented using only the images but here in our proposed system we are going to use image video and also in real time so we are also implementing the detection of fire and also smoke also we are going to Im implement the smoke detection also in the project and also additionally we are changing the model into mobile net architecture and the data set images that we have used consists around 3825 3, images where whereas in the existing system they have used only 1000 images so we have improved in this kinds of things and the proposed system training accuracy is 97 percentage and validation accuracy is of 94 percentage now before execution Make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of Python and the library is installed. And also make sure that you have the web camera connected in your computer or laptop because this project uses real time detection. For that purpose, you need a proper web camera, quality web camera. And now let us see the execution. So, first copy the source code location, go to your command prompt, first go to the drive location. So I have pasted the source code in the F drive. So I'll go to the F drive. So just first go to the drive location where you have pasted it. Now type CD and paste the location that we have copied and then click enter. Now we are into the source code location. Now type Python app dot py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes. And now you can see this URL just copy this URL go to any of your browser go to any of your browser I'm going to Chrome and paste the URL that we have copied and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title fire and smoke detection using deep learning and now first click this login menu now it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and click login now the login is success and click ok now it will be navigated to the preview part so in the preview part you need to upload the test image and find the prediction result of it so before that i'll show you the data set so in the model folder we'll have the data set folder and where you have three folders test train and validation and in each folder we have fire normal smoke so in this way the data set has been trained up so here you can see the data set of the fire which contains around thousand images and normal 
and this is for the smoke so totally the data set contains around 3825 images so this data set has been trained up so now you can test the data with the test data or train data anything whichever we have train the system so now let me select the choose file now go to the source code location where you can find the test folder where you can check with it so first let me show you with the fire case let me select an image and click the summit now it will be navigated to the prediction part where you can see the prediction result is fire so now to test another image just click this preview again choose the file so now let me go to a normal case this is a normal forest image and click submit now you can see the prediction result is normal and now let me click the preview menu again to show you the other case of smoke and select an image and then click submit and now you can see the prediction result is smooth. so now i have shown you for the image case so let me show you the image case with the model that we have trained up also with the other folder that is in the train folder let me select any of the image from the train folder and then click submit so randomly selected from the train folder you can see the prediction result is smoke so now we have shown you with the uh, image case now let us go for the video part so first let me open the live camera just click this live camera menu make sure that your web camera is corrected so just after clicking live camera it takes few seconds to your camera on So now you can see my image and you can see it is showing normal because there is no any fire or smoke. So now I will open in other browser, I will go for YouTube and let me show some fire video. So now let me select this fire video. So now let me restore this to windows. Now you can see it is normal. Let me take the web camera and show in the fire part. Now let us see the result. now you can see the predicted result has been varying because there are both normal and uh, fire images so you need to show the web camera correctly the position so now you can see the predicted result is fire so once if we keep the camera in a correct position pointing to the fire you can see the predicted result is fire so now let me go for the smoke video and show you the other case So now let me select this smoke video. When you and the team are pitching a new product, Grammarly's tone suggestions can offer a more personal... Now you can see here it is normal. Now let us see the picture result for this video.
so now you can see the picture result as MOOC so just you need to place the camera correctly to the smoke part so now we have shown the image and the video part now let us go to the next part that is the live so now let me turn off my tube lights and AC and let me show you in a live manner so now I have turned off my light I'll just burn some fire and show you so now you can see it is normal and now just place the camera correctly so you now you can see the fire is detected so now you can see it is normal there is no any fire in it so now let me burn it again and show you So now I will off the fire. So in this way you can check in real time also. So now let us go to the next part that is the final part that is the performance analysis. So in the performance analysis we will be seeing the performance analysis parameters like accuracy, precision, recall and F measure and kindly note that this does not varies according to the input images or video that given because this is a this has been depicted from the model code that we have developed so this remains the static only so first let us see the performance analysis parameter accuracy value is 95 percentage around and precision value around 95 percentage and recall value around 95 percentage and f measure value around 95 percentage and uh, here you, and here you can see the confusion matrix which depicts the true on the predicted label of the three cases that is fire normal and the smoke and this is about the performance analysis parameters on the confusion matrix part and final is the chart part and this chart is also static chart this is not dynamic chart because this does not vary according to the input that we have done so this has been plotted from the model code that we have developed in the backend so this chart contains the model loss graph and model accuracy graph so here first let us see the model loss graph so which contains around uh, epochs versus the loss value and uh, in the model accuracy will be having the accuracy and the epochs that we have trained up with and this is about the chart part and let me log out and this is all about the project fire and smoke detection using deep learning or forest fire detection using convolutional neural networks and thank you for watching.